from Malibu, California. This is Sara from Close to the Earth IT Services, and I decided to set up shop here at a local state beach. It is way too smoky at my office. Can't even breathe, can't even focus or concentrate, so I thought I would just take a break, come out here, do a little surfing, and then regroup. I just can't stress enough the need for cloud backups. That is what's gonna be what I just evangelize about right now is uh, cloud backups. Oh my gosh, I am just almost mad at myself that I didn't force cloud backups on my clients. I don't like to really stress anything or encourage people even strongly to do anything. I feel like people know what to do with their own systems. But in this case, as I'm seeing failed hard drives, computers that won't power on, and ash just stuffed into the back of people's computers, causing all kinds of hard drive and power flow problems. I am going to insist that all of my clients use a cloud backup. I like Backblaze for Mac, personally. Really reliable, they're very secure. Their platform was really designed with Mac in mind. I am an affiliate of Backblaze, so I am going to be definitely singing the praises of their cloud backups and how secure they are, how reliable they are, how easy they are to restore. I'm a believer. Going through this natural disaster, I am a true believer in cloud backup. Having that secure way to have your data stored off site. So it's a beautiful day here. The water is clean. This is like 25 miles south of uh, Ventura County. Glad to be not smelling smoke anymore. I'm just helping my clients to rebuild now and get back on track after having such smoky conditions. I need to take a break because I've had the busiest week in the longest time, at least doing at least 12 hour days, helping people just recover their systems. So I wish that I would have been more pushy about having a cloud backup, especially since I'm just bringing stacks of laptops to the Apple store after all of the fires. I am going to segue into a tutorial on cloud backups. So we're going to go to backblaze.com and go to personal backup and try it free for 14 days. Enter in your username and create a password. Install the Backblaze installer. Install it by double clicking on it and it's going to ask for your admin password so add that. It might give you a warning that it's from an unidentified developer. Be prepared to just say open and install now. You'll see your own email address there. Then all it does is goes through its process. Only happens once, so that's awesome. And you're done. Finish and close. And you can see some menu options. If you go to the top toolbar, your preferences, you can restore files, check for updates, and go to backblaze.com and sign in for more information. That's hot. Yeah, that was super fun. You got a lot of good waves. Yeah, I saw you on a really sweet wave. On the cliff face. I know. We'll just walk by. I'll film you walking by. It'll be great. Yeah. Hey. Okay. So this is my friend Bobby. She just caught a lot of really epic waves. Mm -hmm. We went surfing, and Bobby has a business, an ice cream store. What is it called? Mr. Softy of Southern California. So yeah, and you've got two trucks and a store location in Old Town Camarillo. So if you had to evacuate in the middle of the night or your store locations had to evacuate, what the heck would you do? We would probably pull the plugs and grab the, them and run out the door. But if you've got three store locations, three business locations, then what? We would go with the office computer because it's the main computer and it, it, take, it has everything. 
Did you know that there was an easy way, an easy cloud backup solution where you could save all your stuff and not stress about driving through a fire zone in the middle of the night? I didn't really know that. I would grab my computer. But what if you couldn't get to your computer? Then I'd probably cry by the roadside while I was watching it burn. <laughs> it would not be good. You ha How many there. employees do you have? We have, I think, 14 employees right now. So 14 people would be hosed without a job because you had no data. Pretty much. Okay, so let's avoid that happening and get you set up with a cloud backup. I want to give you a free trial. Okay. Yay! Yay. Sarah's going to give you a free trial backup. Cool beans. Yay. Yeah, I want to get you guys set up with everything that you need just in case we have to go through this BS again. That'd be very good. To avoid any kind of problems. So you can just think oh. about surfing and catching really good waves. Sounds like a And plan. serving up ice cream. What's your favorite wave you caught today? Uh, the one you saw. Oh yeah. Yeah. I wish when I had someone my sees it, it's always better. <laughs> the best <laughs> waves are the ones that someone sees. Exactly. But surfing is an anonymous sport, so when someone sees it, it's like a beautiful thing. <laughs> it's like, like proof it really happened. <laughs> I didn't know it was you. I saw you surfing by, and I was like, oh my god, who's that? That's a really good wave. Who was that? And it was you. Yay. See, I told you it was anonymous. <laughs> yeah, not anymore though. Awesome. Because now, so everybody, now knows everybody knows that you're a rat. I surfer. actually caught a wave. It's true. It is true. I can do it. It's the truth. Okay, what's your web address? My web address? Yeah. For Mr. Oh, for Mr. Softy, it's www.mrsoftysocal.com. I'm putting a link up in there. Cool. On my, on my blog. Spell it all out. Um, what would you like to say to my blog viewers? Uh, peace out. Surf, because it's good for your soul. I need ice cream. And go to Sara for backups. Yeah. Thank you for watching. I'm just praying for all of the people affected by the fires in Southern California, which are still burning a week and a half later. And a personal thank you to the firefighters and first responders. A special thanks to the inmate firefighters that are helping with this California wildfire containment. They are doing so much and working so hard. A lot of the people who are in prison and are able to work on the firefighting team are people who have drug and alcohol offenses that they're in prison for. And they've turned their life around by using firefighting and saving lives at the same time. So thank you, inmate firefighters. I see you, I acknowledge you, and thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for watching.